This is my student support system. Keep watching, keep learning. Physiology of vision. In order to achieve clear vision, the light reflected from the object within the visual field is focused to the retina of each eye. The process is involved in the producing of a clear image. There are refraction of light rays, changing the size of pupil and accommodation of the eyes. So what are these? We will discuss one by one. First is refraction of light rays. When the light passes from one medium to another, it bends and this bending is known as refraction. When this principle is used in, in the eyes, focusing of the light to the retina. When the light rays coming from the object enter into the eye, it is focused on retina by refraction as it crosses the conjunctiva, cornea, aqueous fluid, lens and vitreous body. Second is changing the size of pupil. Pupil size also affects the vision by controlling the amount of light entering into the eye. In bright light, the pupils are constricted and in dim light, the pupils are dilated. The iris consists of one layer of circular and one radiating smooth muscle fibers. Contraction of circular fibers constrict the pupil and contraction of radiating fiber dilates the pupil. Next is accommodation of eyes. Accommodation is changing the power of eye which depend upon the distance of object. This accommodation is carried out by constriction of pupil, convergence of eyeball, and changing the power of lens okay when the object is near and when it is far then again they are reversed finally the light rays focused on the retina light rays causes chemical changes in the photosensitive pigments in the cells of retina and they generate nerve impulses which are conducted to the occipital lobe of the cerebrum via optic nerve and we are able to see the object my student support system keep watching keep learning